Hello everybody, Tingy360 here and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to talk about the top 5 dumbest ways to die in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I hope you enjoy. Our first dumb way to die lies here on the Great Plateau. So you might just be adventuring out at the start of the game and you see this lake over here. And you're like, hey, let's go explore. Oh, th this is a bit cold, so I'm just going to wear some protective cold armor for this. But, uh, as you can see, it looks like a nice and innocent lake, right? And, oh, why, why do I need a raft to get across? Well, the thing is, if you try swimming in this water, you're gonna start dying. And by dying, I mean dying fast. Like, if you look at my health bar right now, I am losing health at a very fast rate and if you're at the start of the game and you don't have many hearts this will probably catch you off guard and it'll be the end of your run sadly uh so yeah don't do this it's an easy way to die but it's very tempting as well so i recommend not doing it so as you can see, I died, and that that was fairly quick, even with the fact that I have, like, 22 hearts. So yeah, on to the next one. Our second dumb way to die in Breath of the Wild is actually a fairly funny one. So if you are exploring out in the wild, and you see some of these blocks here, and you're like, wait, I wonder what's under them. If you're on low health, and you put an octo balloon on here, it'll just kill you. Like, the moment you place it down, it will literally just end you. I have no idea why, but physics and Breath of the Wild are wonky. All right, on to the next one. Our third dumb way to die is here in the Thundra Plateau. You know, you might just be walking around here having a casual time and you're like, hey, why is my metal shield sparkling? Well, that's because you're about to get struck by lightning. <laughs> yep, this happened to me a lot when I started playing the game. I was like, I was headed over to Divine Beast Vomito, and I'm like, wait a sec. Why is my shield flashing? And then I died to lightning. Please don't do this. All right, on to the next one. Our fourth dumb way to die lies here in the Elden region. So even if you bring some good protective armor, you might notice that some of these rocks later on will still make you catch on fire. Now some people who just start out probably come here, including me, I've come here and I'm like, you know what, I think this is a good spot to AFK, and then I leave. Please don't do this. You'll just burn and it won't be fun and you'll have to restart at your last save point. And maybe you didn't even save since you bought like protective armor and stuff and even got into the Elden region. So that would really suck. Please don't do this. <laughs> All right, on to the last one. And lastly, our final way to die is the most dumb one out of everything fall damage it's happened to all of us when we don't look at our hp we just go flying and we're like yeah you know I, I i'm fine i i have enough health you know and yeah yeah i i i have enough stamina right yeah i i have a good amount of stamina yeah, yeah you know I'll, I'll i'll be good oh wait no i i don't have enough stamina uh-oh that's not good. Wee. Yep, it's not very fun. <laughs> but anyways, that's all of them, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye! Oh, and by the way, if you have a dumb way that you died in Breath of the Wild, feel free to let us know in the comments down below. See ya!